Hi, this is Herb from Big Twin Life, and I want to do a real quick video on how to uh, get these uh, tumblers on the RA2 done. So, first of all, this represents the logo. See, I put a mark right there. That, to me, is like the middle of it. Like, say, if you're doing this on a Yeti, you want to line it up to the middle. Okay, so just keep in mind that that's there. Next thing is you see this dot. That's going to be my auto measure. And what I try to do is I don't typically put it on the highest spot. Now, something else you need to know is I've already got this thing level. And that's, that is per this jig here. And I can't remember who I bought that from. But anyway, it's already level. But I don't pick the highest spot. I kind of go really almost to the lowest spot of where I'm going to be engraving. So say I'm there's like a slight curve. So instead of hitting that high spot, I'll move it so I can get down a little bit to the low spot. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then you got to come over here to your software and make sure that it is in... Uh, laser cylindrical right here and then put in the, the the perimeter or diameter of your mug and also make sure it's in chuck because i'm using the ra2 that's so i'm using the chuck and then you can do an auto measure oh gotta turn close the lid all right so let me do an auto measure Okay, and it's giving me an auto measure of 29 is the distance. Okay, so that's all good. Now, let's go back to the machine. And the way I have this thing set up is I've got my laser alignment tool. And you can see it shoots laser beam in there. And I've just happened to have the left one set up to where it is the center of, of the, the, the uh, software. So what I typically do is I line it up um, so that that laser shoots on on the uh, center shaft, so to speak. I don't know if you can tell it from this picture, but that laser lines up to the center of the shaft of that cup. And then, um, to make it easy on myself, since I've got this laser, is I typically line up the uh, that dot on the logo to my laser line. And I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but that laser runs right through that dot that I put at the center of the logo. That's just so that then I can mark the center of the logo where it would be on the top. This is a piece of masking tape I put on the rim. Okay, now, going back to the software. Okay, so this laser line right here represents where uh, that thing is gonna start. So here's my image, and uh, now, uh, um, sometimes I like to go back to inches for this part, just because I know inches. So I want that thing to be no taller than about 3.75 inches, okay? So that sets my image height up, okay? And then I'm gonna visually line it up. Um, I'm gonna have to do a zoom here, hold on just a second. Okay, and kind of nudge it towards that center line, but I don't typically touch it. So now I know that that is going to be at the edge of whatever that is okay so next thing i know is i'll go up here and that's 2.643 inches right well let me go to millimeters back to millimeters okay that's going to be roughly 67.1 millimeters so i'm going to just go ahead and round it up to 66 okay and that that'll give me the width of that thing and i want to zoom again to make sure that I'm pretty close to that line on that thing, okay? Then, uh, zoom back out, okay. Uh, so I know that's 66 millimeters, and what I have is, I have this really handy uh, metal flex tape measure, and, and I'll put this, I got myself in a pickle here. Okay, so uh, I didn't realize that I accidentally stopped my video, so um, <laughs> I skipped a whole bunch of things. So let me just back up now that it's done. But you see that that image is centered on the fake logo. So basically what I did is I had my, my, uh, my little measuring tape I was showing you guys, and this, this is a really handy thing, but um, I lined it up so that that 33 centimeters which is half of my logo 
lines up to that first mark I made, and then I went and made a second mark, you can see it over there to the left, where the, uh, uh, where the edge of the logo should be. And once I did that, then you know, I have the benefit of having my little laser alignment tool, so I just pushed it over until that hit. And so then I knew that my cup was straight up and down, and that's where the graphic image should be lining up. So once I did that, you know, it, it was a lot, you know, pretty much just hit start and go. Uh, and I did check framing and the, the framing went right down my laser line. So I knew, you know, in line with that mark. So I knew it was going to be printing in the right place. And uh, so this is the result. I mean, it's, I haven't cleaned it yet. It's still on here, but it's printed right centered on that thing. So a couple of things, I don't know if the other video picked it up, but I'll go ahead and say, um, one of the things I do is I have I have my chuck that I made sure that when I installed this part to the base that I had it square to the base because I used the base as a guide and I bought this uh, riser, uh, this incliner thing from, from some, I can't remember who I bought it from, but it works really well and I've got it set for these particular mugs to be level. And the other thing is I use the M1 itself, so I pushed this all the way to the edge and pushed it so that, you know, bears up against this side so I know it's going to be straight there and that gives me a square uh, a square setup you know and the other thing too I don't know if you can see this but I tightened I put this all the way down onto these legs while it was loose and made sure it was flat and then I tightened it so I know that this is flat to that so all those things lining up helps to get to make sure that that thing works out the way you want so anyway hope that helps okay so I've cleaned it up with some magic eraser and that's what the final image looks like.